that she didn't want me. But she did leave me and she was forced to go get me as a newborn. So it's probably like I could pretty much know um, she didn't want me. And growing up as a child, I, I knew it was something there about me that my mother didn't care for. I knew, I knew, I knew. My majority of my whole life, I felt like my mother didn't care for me. So, and when I say care for me, I mean like, didn't like me. She didn't like me as a human being, as a person. So, I definitely understand uh, where she coming from and how that could make a person feel. That is just like low, low. That's so low. Like, I feel like as a parent or as a mother or just as the, the child, the, the, the child that you birth, you just don't fix your mouth, even if it's true. You don't fix your mouth to tell your child that you never even wanted them. Like what? Like, what do you want from the child? Whatever happened, whatever took place, the child did not ask you to come here. That child was made and brought here. And then to blame them for you not wanting them. Oh, that's just heartless, cold, and disgusting. And I feel like if there's a parent out there literally telling their child, they never wanted them. They probably shouldn't be raising their child. Like seriously, the people around them should be calling for help or seeing what they can do to help that child get that child away from the parent. That scares me. Like that is just heartless and freaking cold. Now, she said that her mother... Erupts her peace. Oh, child, 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 child. And, and I get that because there's just some people out there that even if you're smiling and having a good day, they can't take it. They want to see you hurt and upset and sad, you know. But for a mother to just and when she say you've upped her piece, I mean, like, probably always got something negative to say. Um, probably saying things about her to other people that she shouldn't say. And probably never uplift her and encourage her. And make her feel love in any type of way. She said her mother has never. I think she said loved her like a mother should. Ooh, and she 42. So she know, like, I, I, I feel like even if you five, you know. If someone's not loving you, you could feel it, you know. If someone don't love you or care for you. And, yeah, I'm going to say this. Okay. I am 53 years old right now. And it took me a long time. Matter of fact, around, I think around that age, around 42, when I finally started coming to terms that I done did what I could. I done did all that I could to try to get some type of affection, love, care from my mother. But as you grow older, you get wiser. And you start to reflect on things that are important and one of the things that is important is that you pour your time, your love, your devotion, your heart, whatever you got going on into what pours into you. Um, at 42, you're still going through negative changes with the parent. In my opinion, for the love of peace, for the love of God, <laughs> girl, leave your mother right where.
where she at. Leave her in her negativity mess, okay? You do not have to make excuses. You do not have to clean up the mess that she made. You do not have to excuse the mess that she made. You can walk away and leave her in her own negativity mess because you know miserable people need company. They lonely as the They lonely. And they don't want nobody positive around them. They don't want nobody uplifting them. They don't want nobody to care for them. They want they want to be around. They want to they want to drag people with them that they can take away their joy. They want to drain their joy. Drain it like they ain't got none. Yeah. You don't even have to get her a pill, a bucket, a sponge, or nothing. Let her be in her whole complete mess by herself. She don't need you. And you... Dang on sure, do not need that. Nobody need to be hurt. Have their feelings hurt all the time. They peace uh, taken from them. Nobody deserves that. And you are, ch- you are her child. She is your mother. And you acknowledge that she has never been a mother to you. And when people say, but she's your mom now, now. She's your mother. Yeah, she gave birth to you, but she has not been a mom. A mom and a mother is different. It's different. A mom going to love you unconditionally. A mom going to have your back till the end and even after the end. The mom going to always be there for you, going to always encourage you and let you know that they're there because they're your mother and they love you. So she one, she don't deserve to be called mom. And probably not even mother, just call her by name. Or don't call her at all. Okay, so I'm going to tell you where I'm at with my mother today. I have absolutely nothing to do with her. I do not call her. I do not text her. I do not contact her. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, WhatsApp, Patreon, YouTube, wherever. It don't matter. I don't use no type of my phone. Nothing. I do write her an email. Who? No. I am done. Okay? And I am done shedding tears. I haven't shed tears over my mother in so long. And thank you, Lord. <laughs> thank you, God. For freeing me from the evil that people carry within themselves and try to portray it onto us that want nothing from them but love. I have a bunch of sisters, I have brothers, and I have come to acceptance that she's close to a lot of them and I'm not as a matter of fact I'm probably the only one that she really don't have anything to do with and if she can't use me and call me names and curse me out she don't want nothing to do with me so I don't allow her to use me anymore I don't bother her I don't ask her for nothing and I don't allow her to be able to ask me for nothing my mom and don't have my phone number she don't have my address and it don't even matter because she had never picked up the phone and said happy birthday I love you how the kids doing what's going on with you are you okay Napa? so it's no point or I have my phone number, my email, or my address. The only thing she got to offer is hurt, betrayal, distrust, dishonesty, disrespect. 
and pain. That's all you got to offer. And I don't want that. I'm not signing that contract. I'm not signing up for that. And if that means that I don't get to have anything to do with her, so be it. Because for a long time, I have not ate at my mother's table. I have never been invited to Thanksgiving or Christmas or birthday of anybody's in my family. So why am I going to continue in my 40s and 50s longing for someone who is lucky if, I, if I'm speaking to them? Your mother is lucky if you still want something to do with her. She is completely blessed. But now it is up to you. It is time for you to look out for you. And I don't care what people say. Oh, she gave her. I don't care what they say. If there's no love there, if there's constant pain, constant hurt, constant disrespect, then it's time to let it go, especially if you try. Now, if you have a relationship where you can actually sit down and talk to your mother and let her know how you feel, and then y'all can start working on y'all relationship. Oh, by all means, please do. Please. If you have the type of mother that is willing to listen. That is willing to listen and be there for you. And hear your thoughts and your concern. Yes, have a talk with your mom. But see, on my situation, my mother would curse me out. And probably have her and herself and my sisters jump me. So, I ain't going to be no fool. We're not going to hurt to talk about some Mom, you know, I just want to have a talk about how you treated me all these years. And how you uh, didn't care for me. And how you set me up to get jumped. And how you put your hands on me. No. No. I'm making a conscious decision to say I'm not putting myself in harm's way. I don't want to be in your house. I don't want to hear your voice. I don't want nothing to do with you. I'm going to move on. Since you ain't never loved and cared for me as your child, I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. I'm going to live and enjoy the rest of my life without bawling out my eyes and feeling left out, feeling not involved, feeling like I've been excluded. Uh, because you got to get to the point where it's not where uh, they'll let you in. It's where you'll let them in. And you have to say, you know what? This door is closed. There's no more tickets. There's no more entry. This door has been closed. And I am walking in peacefulness. I am going to be peaceful. And I'm going to enjoy the rest of my life without you. And you have to come to acceptance with that. I'm going to tell you another thing too. People are a freaking trip. They, that, uh, that's your mom. So, you see the way she treat you. Oh, let me put it another way. They see the way they treat you. And they know how you feel. They know you hurt me, and they telling you, take the abuse. That's your mom. Let her curse you out. Let her put you down. Let her say mean things to you. Let her hurt your feelings. Let her slice you in half. It's okay. It's your mom. No, you need to rethink those people too. Those people too, because I had to realize, wait a minute. Why am I trying to find one of my sisters to connect to? Because if one talk about me, they all doing it together. Especially when they come back and tell me what the other person is saying. Because it takes two to tangle. It takes two to talk about another person. And the person who, the person who's telling you, uh, to stick it out, that's your mom. Probably want you to do that because the moment you not allow her to abuse you, 
abuse you no more. They might become abuse. They don't want to be the next victim. They don't want to be that person. So, yeah, you take the slashes. <laughs> you take the whooping. No. You need people in your corner that say, no, you don't deserve to be treated like that. You deserve to be loved. You deserve to be cared about.
it will be replaced. God is good. It will be replaced with what you need. I know it. That's for me. I feel like God built my heart and gave me everything I needed. That moment. And, and then I'm yawning for something I ain't never get. Why am I yawning for a, a, a mother's love that I have never ever received from her? For the first time, I felt true love was from strangers and people that, that helped me out when I was a kid and from my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law showed me so much love. I went to bed smiling at night and sometimes crying with so much joy in my heart that somebody loved me as if I was their own child. I ain't never get that from my mother. It would have been nice. It would have been so nice just once to really. But you know what? For me, I'm going to say this. I'm not angry with my mom at all. I'm not angry with my mother. I'm going to tell you why. Because to be honest, I don't know her. I don't even know her true spirit. I have never seen it. somebody who can't give me what they ain't got child if I was born and she didn't have love for me when I was born and it didn't develop no matter how much I try no matter how much running no matter how much begging no matter how much I give I'm never gonna get anything of my deserving from her so stop looking towards your mother